In this video, we will discuss vacuum aspiration abortions. This method of abortion is done in the first trimester, between 5 and 13 weeks. Please be warned, this video will contain graphic content and may not be suitable for all viewers. Usually, vacuum aspiration abortions are performed if the mother chooses not to take the abortion pill. There are two types of vacuum aspiration abortions. The first is manual vacuum aspiration. The second is machine vacuum aspiration. To perform a manual vacuum aspiration abortion, also called an MVA abortion, an abortionist uses the suction of a syringe to remove the baby from the mother's uterus. This method of abortion is not available everywhere and may be more common in poorer countries. According to the Grantham Collection, the major problem with the MVA is that it has a very weak vacuum. This means that the child is ripped apart slowly. A machine vacuum aspiration abortion is performed in a similar way. This method uses a small tube called a cannula. This tube is inserted into the uterus and attached to a pump. When the pump is turned on, the child is torn apart and pulled through the tube into a bottle. According to the C.S. Mott Children's Hospital, vacuum manual abortions have certain risks. Their website states, Some problems may include failure to end the pregnancy, tissue remaining in the uterus, injury to the cervix, a hole in the wall of the uterus, heavy vaginal bleeding, infection. Clearly, vacuum aspiration abortions are a horrific practice. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.